and blew up the league that year. And one of the reasons why... The was video was uh, in the summer, my the OBS is muted. Last place. He was a beast. There's a reason why people still thought he might be the best ADC. This was the era of Aphelios and Senna being introduced. And you go slow, look at the champions he was playing and where they hit in the wins. And he was good on these champions. He put in the hours. And quite frankly, while everyone else was just bitching about Aphelios, he seems like he actually learned the champion and learned like, hey, this could actually be something where it has so much sort of viability of what it can do compared to fairly on the rails normal ADC champions. If I had to work on this, this could this could be a game changer for me. And I think it was, and it's one of the reasons he leveled his game up. And also, he doesn't just have the drive, and the, he has an aspiration to be great. And that is no no small feat when you're talking about pro gamers in the West who tend to be lazy, slacker nerds, who don't want to put in a lot of hard work, want to play, have it be fun, want to fuck around, not do the Western like grind approach and then hope they get the results. And if you don't, well, we were close. 3 2 against SKT. Well, you know, I wouldn't that be a 1 against something. Who gives a shit? This is a guy actually trying to be the best player at his position, the best in his region, the best in the world, in theory. He's not even just a guy who's trying to win. If you go listen to my reflections interviews with him, he has a hard time because he knows people are going to meme on him. But he's not a guy who's even like, you know, winning LECs, the end goal. It isn't. He's the guy who wants to leave like a whole load of LEC championships and dominate LEC and then go international and make deep finishes and big, big, big teams. It's just he knows if you say it before you've done it, people who are very insecure are going to get on you and be like, you'll never do it. Oh, who do you think you are? So, I'll tell you who he thinks he is. Somebody could be one of the greatest ever and I believe him. So I think if you look at his career, it's so, so rare that people want to be great and win. A lot of people want to win. Some people want to be great and don't care the what. This guy wants it all. If you're a fan, by the way, and you want to see Western players succeed, I don't know what more you want out of this guy, except maybe be just less German, a little bit more funny or something. Like, that's about it. And even then, he's got a pretty decent sense of humour, and he can sort of take a bit of ribbon and banter for <laughs> someone who's German in that regard. Like, he's not really be less German, what the f***? ones who's just like some stone face like faces oh don't get any of the no it's just maybe not as naturally charismatic and funny as some of the american players well i mean we're talking about a select group there but the best of them at least let's just say and quite frankly anywhere except asia i think i think upset is hilarious i think he's like one of the the like top five funniest people that i talk to like in like on on stream He's, he's, he's got to be one of the funniest people. I mean, top five. I mean, of all the pros that I've spoken to, he's one of the funniest ones. Might be the funniest one.